Are you good with your water? I'm ready to go. All right. The thing is, you have to put some respect on my name, Sean, because today you're not talking to just me. You're talking to a verified oh TikToker. Hey. <laughs> With 10K followers. Okay. How did you get verified on TikTok before, Dave? That's a secret I would never tell. That's a secret? <laughs> so you paid someone off? Or no, you I, never, I didn't pay a thing. Why would I pay to be verified? Did you, did you blow somebody? I'll What'd pay beans to be verified on Instagram. I'd so pay you beans. paid beans for TikTok nope, too? No, not a, one What'd you do? Dollar. Be honest with me. There's a guy that works there that watches my vids. The, my, my YouTube vids. And, then and he, you sent him some dick pics? No, he messaged Come on. me. What'd you do? He messaged me. He's like, you yo, I love some, your you vids. You sent him some money. You gave him a property Nothing. in Lebanon. I know you did Nothing. something. A property in Lebanon? Yeah. Holy hell. You tickled his nuts. What'd you do? Nothing at all. I just told him, yo, can you get me verified? He's like, yeah, say no more. And then I got it. Then this morning, I woke up a verified man on TikTok. It doesn't yeah, matter yeah. at all. I don't know why. I'm, I'm too excited. <laughs> I need to be verified. Instagram this guy's on his high horse now. This is going to be a rough day <laughs> for me. All right, roll the intro. Guys, you got bamboozled. Vibes. Welcome back to the Bamboozled Podcast. I think this is a, an anniversary type episode. Do you know why? Because it's our 10th it's episode. It's our 10th episode. 10 weeks It's our first strong. milestone. You know, 10 uh, episodes. That's a milestone. Really? 10. Yeah, 10 and then maybe 50? 50 and then 100 or something. Yeah, milestone vibes. That's, so for us to get to 100, how many pod, How many years would we? We'd have to be doing this for two years. For two years? To get to 100 podcasts. Jeez. So 50 is a good one because that's around a year. And Sean, 52. can you put your phone on silence? Did you just hear it? Yeah, because it popped up and... Oh, I didn't even hear it. My bad. It's fine. I like hearing it. It is on silent. Are you yeah. sure it wasn't your phone? <laughs> <laughs> it was your phone, wasn't it? <laughs> it was. <laughs> I didn't hear it at all. <coughs> but yeah, today, great Monday vibes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, I'm tired. It's very or- early for us it's right now. It's early, yeah, because uh, Ryan Swayze is coming to town. So Guy's going to pick him up. Yeah. And uh, we're still trying to figure out who to have as the first guest on the podcast. So, again, guys, keep keep letting us know. We're Maybe a TikToker. <laughs> a verified TikToker is you our, know? our guest on the podcast. Today. Only verified. So, David doesn't fall in this category, unfortunately. He's oh, not verified. Wow. He's stressed. <laughs> he's, he's so stressed. Taking da- What's Dave at now? Like 600K? 500 something? 500 yeah. something. Not verified. Guy, 11K verified. Did you know? It's not about the followers. It's about the... C- it's the content you know <laughs> oh, oh now you're now you're really pissing him off he's pissed oh my god but yeah, yeah ryan's coming to town so we had to get some stuff done early so yeah. he could go do some some shenanigans with ryan yeah. we'll probably have an interesting ting story this week from you know, ryan's back in from town. ryan's story i'm I, I, i'm gonna be out for the ting story <laughs> well i guess maybe maybe Ryan. You'll see it. Yeah, maybe happen, I see it happening. So you can tell us. But yeah, yeah that <laughs> yeah. he's out of the ting story. Speaking of Gee being out of the ting stories, you're yeah. going on a trip soon, right? I am. I've, I am. Yeah, yeah. Where uh, are you going? In mid January, first week of January, we're going. I'm going to see my girl. Your girl. Can yeah, kind of girl. I, I like. Uh, yeah, I'm just. It's it's confusing for a bit. You're figuring it out. Figuring it out. It's still at the early stages of a relationship. Exactly. That's what All it right. is. Yeah. And well, yeah, that's going exciting. For a bit. That means it's getting a little serious, at mm-hmm. least. It Guys, is. Guy might finally be off the market. Yeah. Women out there, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, the two most beautiful men you've ever seen or listened to. Yeah, handsome. We're both going to be off the market. I've been off the market you've for a while. Been. And I know you guys are stressed about that. You've I, been off the market. I can feel the stress from everybody about it. And mm-hmm. I don't plan on coming off back onto the market anytime <laughs> soon. But. Guy, we, we didn't expect this. You know, you know? I, I felt like this was going to be a long lasting Guy hanging out on the market type thing. But it looks the thing like is, when you don't I'm look for it, it just happens. That's what it is. Just don't yeah, look for it. And that's then true. It just that's true. You just got to be open to whatever might come your way and then good things will happen. Exactly. Great things will happen. And we'll see how long this lasts. Or maybe it'll be forever. Who knows? Yeah, we don't, we know. don't know. That's very we're early. We're going to start a poll in the comment section. No, how we're long not going to start no <laughs> poll. <laughs> we're <laughs> not <laughs> talking about nothing about this. <laughs> we're not. We're just starting a poll. No, no <laughs> poll. No <laughs> poll. Talk about the North Pole. That's all we're going to talk about. Christmas is coming. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Are you yeah. done your Christmas shopping? Kinda. I, st- I just have to get stuff for my dad. It's very hard. I don't know what to get my dad. What about your brother, who you're having do slave labor? <laughs> my brother is helping me chop one video, and <laughs> I'm getting him something nice. I thought of it because he got me Converse, the Comme des Garçons Converse, the oh, CDG. Oh, those are nice. Yeah. Those are nice. A little expensive, you know. He doesn't really work right now. He's a university student, and he got he me spent those. All that money on you? He did. They wow. both like. I have two brothers. They both did. 
That's and nice. Where'd you get them? One of them, I got him. Like, I went off, actually. I got him um, three sweatpants from Nike and two hoodies from Nike. Oh, my God. You guys ball out on each other. That's good. But there's yeah. one, the one that is actually helping me. I, I still didn't get him anything. And, like, the is thing is... Surge? I, Surge, yeah. The I got him. helped with the Tesla car, too? Exactly, yeah. Engineer. My engineer brother. They're both engineers. But um, I'm... Like I'm getting, I already got him like one sweatpants and one hoodie, but he's helping Again? me. Again? Yeah, but like nice ones. Oh. No, it's the other brother. That oh, okay. I got him. okay. So I'm trying to get him something. Maybe I don't know what to get him. I have no what like. What does he like? Everything I like. Like so I, he likes expensive stuff. He likes uh, like Louis. I have some shit. Gucci, a Gucci belt. Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> are you crazy? How much are those? Like three hundred, six hundred? Yeah, I don't know. I don't have a Gucci yeah, belt. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, not cheap. Yeah, so buy him a fake Gucci belt off Wish. Oh, <laughs> you probably have a bunch of those. I have one. It was fifty bucks. Oh, lit! I probably buy it from you and get it for him. <laughs> win win. Tell him it's real. <laughs> uh, Some vibes. Yeah, I'm pretty much done my Christmas <laughs> shopping. You don't do really Christmas shopping. What'd you get your parents? A house? No, no, oh. I didn't get them a house. What'd I'm you get them? I got my dad uh, some mitts. Some mitt mittens? Yeah, he really needs some mittens. Your rich ass could get him gold mittens. Yeah, but my dad doesn't want gold mittens. My dad would literally just get mad at me if I yeah, bought you said him that. something expensive. He would say, "What is?" What? But my dad has got the same thing every year for the last like fifty. Yeah, years. you told me it was uh, PJs. No right? shorts. Oh, shorts. <laughs> shorts and like a sweater or a t-shirt or something. <laughs> like, I'll probably get him something else too. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I got his main thing, and then my mom doesn't want a gift. She wants us to donate to Mr. Beast, pretty much. She wants Her us mom to, is wavy. She wants us to uh, <laughs> donate to a tree planting company. Really? Because she's like she feels that that's like the biggest issue right now, and she doesn't need anything, so she wants us that's to just. That's very exciting. Th- yeah. That's so exciting. Yeah, that's my mom. <laughs> yeah. So that that one's pretty easy, and then <laughs> Bryn I have planned out, but I can't say it because she listens to the podcast. Oh vibes, okay. So no, uh, no more details on Bryn. Actually, my brother, I think my brother listened to that too. So I'm. Oh, but that would be out. Uh, Next Monday, which is not after Christmas. Holy hell, I'm <laughs> stressed, but yeah. What up, Serge? What up, Serge? <laughs> okay, yeah. so you got verified on TikTok. Yeah. So that's great news for you. You want to hear some great news for me? Um, let me guess. No, don't guess. Oh, yeah. Because I know you know the answer because it's on the board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I yeah. won my fantasy football week, the semifinals against Swayze, Here we go. baby. So I'm in the finals. Can I explain something? How annoying you were, like winning that? Why? We were filming my video. The middle of my video, you oh, leave. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. start yelling over there on the TV. Yeah. Your Caught timing <laughs> wasn't great. It was literally, it was, so we started filming at like seven, I would say. Yeah. And the game, or maybe a, like around there, and I had Julio Jones, who was in, like it was the final minutes of the game, oh, and yeah. Ryan was up or down two points. I was basically gonna lose no. if Julio didn't snap. And there was two minutes left in the game, and we're filming, had fucking banana TikTok hacks, and they were <laughs> terrible fucking hacks. They were great they hacks. Were horrible. None like two, two of them didn't even work. It was a troll. It did. It was. It was a, a classic gee video. Okay. And okay, you know what I'm talking about, all right? You know what I'm talking. The about. hacks didn't really work, but exactly. like I was trying to make a, like kind of not rush a video, but I wanted to film this because you were here, Jad was here. Yeah, I was trying to make. And some I would if you, I would have been, I would have came back as soon as it was done. It was, yeah. I just thirty seconds, and then I got up, I went over, I watched <laughs> it, and Julio Jones got the fucking TD at the end of the game, and that's what won me my fantasy week. Yeah. Literally last play of the game against San Francisco. Julio Jones scores a TD. I beat Ryan. I call Ryan. He cries. I win. I jump for joy. And that is basically what got me into the finals this week. So we'll see how that goes. But if I win, it's 500 bucks in the bank account and bragging rights. I already have bragging rights over both ways. bragging. But I beat them. And then fantasy basketball, I'm still winning. But we're playing this week. What's the update? Am I spanking you? I feel like you were doing all right. No, I'm winning this week. I'm actually winning this week. This week is going for me. I need but, to. But you just lost AD. AD's out. Yeah, I know, but. No, I'm beating you by 80 points. Yeah, but I have a lot of games tonight. Yeah, and AD's out. But the thing is. Yeah, I'm going to beat you again. No, you're not. If I beat Sean, he'd be the first one to lose. Uh, I'd be the first one to win against Sean. Yeah. And the only reason it's even close is because Luka Doncic is injured. Yeah. But now that AD's injured, it evens the playing field. You're dead. I'm winning. No, again. we'll see. We'll see. You're not I'm, beating me. I'm very excited about this week's. 
fantasy. But talking about this week, fantasy, bro, I drove from Toronto. Talking about Toronto, we, we need to t- tell a story about Toronto. Oh, what, what do you I got w- for me? I went there last last weekend, like mm-hmm. two days, three days ago. Uh-huh. Uh, for t- mostly film Jinko Dave's video, the series, yep. and then I filmed the video right before Dave that is kind of similar to his. <laughs> yeah, Chad he called got me. So pissed. <laughs> I was like, "Why? Why is Chad calling me?" To <laughs> He's like, "Yo, what are you doing with Guy? He just filmed <laughs> Dave's filming that, and Guy filmed his before it, and now everyone's drunk for Dave's video." Yeah, it was a drinking like, video. What does that have to do with me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That was funny though. He was so pissed, and Ryan was so tired, and no one was really down to film Jinko, but like as a joke, obviously. And then we all filmed drink and turned out the bangers coming soon. But um, so that night in Toronto, bro, we used to go when I'm in Toronto, we go to this specific bar. Like we always go to that one club. We yeah, go the there. strip club. No, it's oh, called, sorry. it's That's called, I think one. it's called Wildflower. I don't go to the strip club. I don't like strip clubs. Oh, yeah. It's called Wildflower. So where that girl, uh, Destiny w- hangs out with you. She gives you dances. And stuff? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's it's not a strip club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Destiny's there, right? Who the hell is Destiny? You're making shit up. I the don't know what you're talking about. I don't know who the <laughs> fuck that is. What the fuck? I'm trolling. But anyways, I don't know. Girl, if you're listening. It's no. <laughs> anyways, <laughs> what I was saying is, um, so we go there and then we couldn't get in. And the thing is. Wow, we, what a story. <laughs> we knew, n- nope. Ryan knew someone to get us in and then we we're excited to was go. Was JP then, and Jubba there again? Nope. It was just us. Um, and then we got there and then. The promoter comes out and then they can't get us in. And then the guys start yelling, no one comes in, get out, no one comes That's in. That's the same spot that happened to last time. Yeah, right? when yeah, yeah. We were with JP and Jabba, yeah. Yeah, the same thing happened Did again. Did you go late? Yeah. Bro, we went like 11. Oh. And then they start Eight. yelling at us and yelling, yelling. And I'm like, cringe. It's so bad, bro. Like, we're outside, like, looking like, you know, like losers and, and like, getting yelled at from Did the Dave hit them with a, do you know who the fuck I am? Or I, I was about to hit them oh. with that. But what <laughs> happened is, listen, what happened is, we see a big um, security guard yeah. w- w- that was a woman that hold, was holding another little woman and shoved her, like, tossed her out of the club. The, the other girl, bro, she flew in the air, did the flip and s- s- crashed the ground. And yeah. then the boyfriend c- runs out and they're like, that's my fucking girlfriend. He runs, he want to punch the, 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 the girl, the girl uh, security bouncer, guard. Yeah. And then the other two bouncer, big, big, big dudes hold him, bro, and like chuck him. The one they chucked him, he hits the, like he hits the the bars of the thing and like he started like crying. It was so bad. Like if you see it, what well, if you see it happen, it, w- it looks so intense. Holy but shit. T- the two of them were too, like they were really small people. They're getting like thrown around by the bouncers and stuff. But was um, he actually crying, or was this a classic case of Guy overusing <coughs> the word crying? Not actually crying, but okay. like he was very stressed. Yes. And yes. then he started yelling, "That's my girl!" And then he started. He said, "You don't know what I'm gonna do. Wait here." The bouncer were waiting. Nothing happened. They just. Left. <laughs> what was he gonna do? I thought he was gonna call some people to come and you know bang bang, but nothing <laughs> happened. <laughs> so we re- we ran. We left. You cut after that. You're like we left fuck right that away. Noise? Mm-hmm. And then um. Yeah, that was for that. That's not, not that's not really what ha- like really interesting. We got kicked out of the bar, not kicked out, but we didn't get yeah, in, it's even more in. Just embarrassing. But on Sunday, I mean, I mean, oh no, yeah. The next day, I wake up. I need to leave back to Ottawa. I decide to leave at like eight p.m. because mm-hmm. I want to sleep in my bed. So meanwhile, driving the biggest blizzard of all time. Oh yeah, you're the telling biggest, me. biggest, bro. It was a crazy storm. Yeah, it was Zook that day. That I've never seen. Like, I, I've been driving here in Canada. This one was crazy. Was like, the worst you ever seen? Worst, worst. Because like the thing is, I'm going on a highway which is there's no cars, it's dark, and there's the snow everywhere on the ground. It's not like no one, there's no big snow shovel machine that's taking them out. Yeah, yeah. So the snow is getting stuck on the floor, on the ground. So I put my car in four wheels, I'm ch- I'm chilling. But there's three, four cars sliding, and like I seen cars bump, you know the, the like when you go to the, like, uh, the, the park? Bumper you cars? Yeah, they're yeah, bumping yeah. into each other. I seen like three, four cars literally bump into each other and move away, and then bump again. And then one of them just fell down like very oh slowly. Oh my God. Driving like that, it goes slow, like, and then go down the little, like, um, forest vibes, just fall down. Yeah. So many of these stuff. I kept driving, and then I see a bozo in front of me, so slow. So I put, like, my high beams on and off for him to move on the left lane. Yeah. And then he's moving. While he's moving, he keeps going down the hill. No, no. He went down the little hill. So you hill. boxed him. Yeah, I was like, oh, fuck. You made him move, and then he died. Yeah, no, he didn't die. Are you <laughs> dumb? He just, his car but just his car. slid in. So you got in a crash. No, no, his car just slid in off the highway, and then like I seen him, I I literally watched him struggle to get it back up, but oh, like, okay. and then he got it back up and kept going. Like it went into a ditch. 
No, no, like, you know, on the side of the highway on the right, like, where is it? Like, just like, like the shoulder? Yeah, just like plants and like uh, random shit. It just got into there and then he just readjusted and went back. Oh my God. I felt so bad, but like, after that, I just kept going. And th- there's one point, bro, my c- when I got close to Arwa, I'm going into inside roads. The snow was so high and like, I actually couldn't see. My car was starting to slide and then going. Really? Like, if your car sliding, doing weird that's shit. crazy. Yeah, I was panicking. I called my mom. Oh, yo, I called my mom. I'm bored. No one's really awake. It was like, 12 so i called my mom yeah i'm like mom um there's a huge blizzard so she's like yes i know why the fuck you driving she's panicking i'm like yo i might not make it and then just hang up in her face she calls me after yo, bro, you love call. giving your mom heart <laughs> she calls me after no bawling her eyes she was actually cr- like literally crying and she's like what are you doing <laughs> come back come back like oh drive slowly don't do anything do you want me to call someone I'm like holy fuck i was joking i'm fine and then she started yelling at me. You're evil, bro. But uh, bro, I was bored. I'm trying to get entertained somehow. That's entertaining to you? Making your mom cry? You it's, sick it's fun. fuck. You sick fuck. But yeah, Toronto, it's, I'm going to be a while till I go back to Toronto. Yeah? You have gone a lot. A lot, And it yeah. costs you like $250 in gas. Yeah, every time. time go, which gas is too expensive on this car. And you get your car towed, so an extra 300 Holy bucks fuck. Oh time. my God. Don't <laughs> remind me of that. Okay, so you mentioned earlier to me something about a YouTube update, and I actually haven't heard anything oh, about it, so please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, a lot of like big creators were talking about it. So you know how now there's a new update on YouTube, like they just updated it in the terms and, and uh, like agreements. Mm-hmm. So when you post a video, if, the, if your video has any like um, harassment or like you're harassing anyone online, like bullying or doing something like that online, okay. they're going to take it out. Okay. So like you're roasting other YouTubers or something? No, like, like ma- most like uh, harassing people. You know, like if you're out in public and you're like, no, like, do you know, I the yeah. cops video he did content cop. Yeah. Yeah. This, he, this one's roasting people. Yeah. This one got removed from YouTube. Oh, all of the content cops got removed. Yeah. No, uh, two of them got removed. Wow. And then he s- he tweeted, um, he said, people save all the, v- the content cop you want because YouTube is removing them. So, yeah, and I don't know how this going to apply for Cody Co because he roasts a lot of people. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Roasting. Yeah. That's it's kind of roasting. So, yeah. So that's what, um, what's his name? Um, Jama Alir was talking about Damn. like his last vid. Yeah. Oh yeah, I saw PewDiePie talking about that because and he was PewDiePie. saying uh, he was saying like if YouTube changes that policy, we kind of police ourselves on YouTube. Like if you're a goofball, other YouTubers will call you out for being a goofball. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. if you if you take that away, then there's no one to kind of police us. Yeah, exactly. That's literally what it is. Yeah. So Shit, that's interesting. Yeah. So Very now, you know, like Morgs, how much he got roasted on those YouTubers. Yeah. No one can roast them. The Dober bros. Yeah. They're chilling now. Damn. Not the Dober bros. But you know, those who are like some of my favorite videos. Bro, who Cody know Co- who, Dober um, bro videos? who like pushed that to be a thing, you know, H3H3. Yeah. He, he was, he talked to, he was like in an interview with Suzanne and like they were talking and about he it. he wanted it to be a thing. I think so. That's what John was saying. Oh. Like he wanted he all the roast, harassment. He used to roast people all the time. Yeah. But he got roasted big time. And like, yeah a lot of stuff he got roasted and i think he like maybe he might be the reason but i don't know that's very interesting well fortunately yeah. we don't really do that so we don't roast anyone we're safe on that up to that youtube update but yeah. not the other ones okay i want to um <laughs> Talk interrupt about our segments by doing a little shout out to everybody who's been giving us reviews oh yeah let's read some i have a so bunch of those pull up, pull up your uh, spotify i'll pull up the podcast the Apple Podcast one, and we'll read some of your lovely reviews because we told you guys we were going to do this, and to be honest, we just hadn't gotten around to it for a bit. No, I don't want to download this. I just want to go to Bamboozled. How do I... Library? Yes, Bamboozled. Uh, yeah, see all. So we're up to 65, 65. ratings, folks. How do we check the one on... on Spotify? On yeah. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I'm, I need to check. Okay, well, you keep looking. I'm going to start start reading some of the fire reviews on our Apple podcast. By the way, guys, please give us five stars wherever you're listening and drop a review for us. First review, straight fire. Three, straight fire. Three fire emojis from OHM My Coils. I just started listening to the podcast today, and I, and I just say it's pretty fire. Nice. I was never one to listen to podcasts, but yours definitely changed my mind. With a little Canadian emoji. Shout out Canada, nice. baby. Let's go. Okay, I have one from SLE3715. Okay, let's hear it. It says, um, if you're uh, not listening to Bamboozle, then you're playing yourself. Facts. Their YouTube channels brought me here, but their funny content is what makes uh, making me stay. 
I'm not even embarrassed that I'm 40 years old woman listening to these young hey, bucks. Hey, let's go. I'm still sweetie. <laughs> I'm still sweet. <laughs> With a wink. <laughs> Cheers to supporting your alcoholism. Here. Let's get some Apple team members on the podcast as guests. Okay. Well that that's was the what review. We're of doing. Th- that was on Apple, an Apple review. Okay. So Vaps. maybe that's on here. I might run into that one. I got uh, Cami N. Listen to my first podcast today and holy entertaining. Nice. I was walking my dog, Vabs, Vabs, listening to the most recent episode and burst out laughing. <laughs> nice. Come on, guys. That's, that's the type of content we're providing here. You know? I got someone else, Walid Abed. This is my second review, and it won't be my last. We're getting multiple reviews. That's wavy. Let's go. I listen to the podcast at the gym, oh. at home, while I'm driving, or even when taking a dookie. LOL. This podcast is very universal and has unlimited potential, and I can't wait to see where it goes. I love this segment. Some vibes. This is a great segment. I that feel like we're just great. boosting ourselves. You know? You know? I it's can't. Vibe. I don't know how to find the Spotify one, but. Okay, should we do one more? Yeah, one more. Uh, let me let me find a good. Oh, okay, I'll do two more because this one's heat. Are you ready for it? Yeah. This is from Chi Diddy. Yeah. It says Vabs is the title, and then below that, <laughs> the review says Vabs. Oh my God. With at least twenty five eyes. <laughs> okay, well I got this one's a big dot to one. Should I read the big dot to one or is it too much? Um, read it. Well, you're texting, eh? I'm not. I'm, I'm waiting I'm for you. I'm literally looking at you texting. What do you mean you're not? I'm waiting for you to finish I'm, this I'm, podcast. I'm, I'm, I mean, this, this You don't want to listen review. to the reviews from the people, Guy? That's a paragraph you're gonna about back, to read. Bro. Exactly. You want to listen to it or not? Of you don't course. Want, don't you want to hear the reviews from I've, the people? Yeah. Okay. I'm very intrigued. All right. I have your full and undivided attention? Of course you do. Okay. So this is from Vakelski. Monday morning routine. Love your podcast. It is soothing to hear you guys talk about your life while cleaning, driving, or even studying and mm. potentially having sex. That's what it I'm says. I'm just kidding. I added uh, that one in. Ah. I'm still waiting for that review. Like I listened to this while slapping. <laughs> I only watch vloggers and Team Albo's videos on YouTube, and I just realized that I don't know anything personal about you guys. I mean, what is Bongo or DJ's real names? <laughs> <laughs> no, it didn't say that. That's, that's what it says. Bongo's real name is Hassan and DJ's is Daniel Joshua. Um, no offense, but Guy <laughs> is getting girls. <laughs> Not anymore. He has one. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, who is that? Who is that? Who is that oh person? Oh, my God. This is v- 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 Vigelski. I don't know how to say it. Vigelski, if I see you in public, you're, this bad things will happen. Seriously, i rather hear you guys sharing about your life than vlog it so you can fully enjoy it without the stress of making it vlogging material. That's nice. Yeah. That's, that's cool. Then talk about it. Anyways, keep up the great work. By the way, I think it would be a great idea to have a guest on air with you guys. Mm. They, don't, they don't need to be social media influencers. Put, oh, you want to read this? Yeah, where? It's French, and I know what it says, but I'm, my PS French accent is terrible. Guy ne, tra- ne traduit pas à Sean ma dernière phrase. Mais j'aimerais entendre son propre interprétation. Oh, pour terminer, j'espère que vous lirez mon commentaire en onde. There, we, le- we read it on onde. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like, don't translate the, la- the, la- the last sentence for Sean. I speak French, yeah, gaff. I know what yeah, it yeah. says. Okay, let me read the last one. Rola.g. Banger podcast, keep it up. Best way to start your week. It's entertaining, funny, as much more everything you look in a podcast and in a handsome guy like dr hobbs that's not what it says. that's beautiful that's definitely that's not what it says <laughs> it doesn't it does not say the <laughs> dr hobbs part it says it literally says and a handsome guy like sean yeah like, yeah it does just, say that you know it's crazy it oh my god but that's some vibes that's reviews. some vibes should we read a couple comments on the video oh yeah that i can i can see that i can find that okay you got it i'll let you pull them up no, you're busy checking your Instagram. I'm checking Holy it right hell. now. This guy has the attention span of a fish, <laughs> my G. Bamboozle Podcast. Oh, we're at 5.64K. Let me check this one. Um, All right, this one we're getting joust. That's a good one. Ooh. I'll, I'll check. Uh, are you reading Juiced? The one yeah. that you get Juiced? Tall guy from Giovanni says hello. <laughs> No way! Yeah. <laughs> he listened to the podcast? I'm 6'7", so definitely not as tall as Yao Ming. <laughs> no way! That's, That's said. so funny, bro. That's wavy. As if he listened to the podcast and we talked about him. That's wavy. <laughs> so he's Jad's height, I guess. Yeah. I, he seemed way taller, dude. 
That guy seems huge. Love listening to podcasts on my way to school. Some vibes. The uh, that's perfect. That's bro. That's actually so funny. What's a riot mean? A riot? Yeah. Uh, well, it's a. It can be used in different ways, but a riot. It says you two are a riot. Yeah, it's like it's like crazy, or oh. it's a good thing. But okay. a riot could also be like when you're rioting against the police or something. Oh my god! <laughs> like I said. Um, Oh, Vabs, Ryan, can you do Ryan an is advice late. Segment. Oh, Vabs. Vabs. Can, can you, you do an advice segment? I would love to ask y'all some questions. Oh, I'm done. Yeah, comment your questions on the videos and we'll uh, we'll answer some. You know, you need some lady advice, you need some guy advice, mm-hmm. you need some school advice, some career advice. Whatever you need. We've experienced <laughs> a lot in our lives between the two of us. Exactly. Bro, this is such an accurate comment from Owie. Oh no, from um Damon Man. Oh my. That's Zooked and Vabs are Dr. Hoff's two most used words. For sure. That's how you know when Guy's not really paying attention. Vabs. That's He'll say all something vibes. and he will go, Vabs. Vabs. Or, that's Zooked. <laughs> oh, also, in the news, actually, I'm doing my whole room makeover. Oh, really? I'm changing everything. I went to Ikea with my mom the other day. That's Zooked. Just so she can help me and then... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I actually got a new bed, a whole new bed frame, a new couch. No, not a couch. A new uh, mattress, everything. I'm changing my whole room design. Vibes, you know, that's why you say vibes. Vibes, vibes. <laughs> Bro, I'm trying to find one more good comment. You read all the <laughs> comments. I didn't read any. Yeah. That a bunch of people said they were down for Pootie to be on. Yeah, Pootie Pete. Watch the thing is, now podcast. I'm verified on TikTok. What do you know about this life? Oh, my God. I don't. I don't know anything about it. What do you know about being verified on Instagram? I don't really know anything. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to be so bad. Uh, oh, I would do anything, bro. I, I I would delete TikTok right now if they tell me you get verified on IG. For sure, bro. You like you've <laughs> done. You don't care about TikTok. I care a big deal. I'm verified. <laughs> yeah, but like you don't really care that I, much I do. about TikTok. Anyways, so more than that, what about your mall video promotion? Oh uh, yeah. Okay. So, so you're on your phone again. I'm searching up sayings to try for the next segment. Okay. Oh, yeah. Just it's fine being on our phone. David Dobrik, one of the greatest to ever done it. He's on his phone the whole time. Is he? Yeah. I, I actually don't watch the video version. I, I watched it when I was running on the treadmill this morning. And he was on the phone the whole yeah. time? And yeah. then Jason what, didn't say a thing. So, you know, they move on. and That's impressive. <laughs> Too bad you're not doing a podcast with Jason, eh? No, with David. No, with Jason, because then he would oh, say yeah, a thing exactly. when you're on your phone. Because yeah. if you're doing it with David, then you both just be on your phone the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I did a mall promo video yesterday. I felt like a real actor or something. Yeah. We uh, basically were based out of the St. Laurent shopping mall. Please don't come knock on my door all day. A lot of people have been doing that. Yes, yeah. Ever, ever since Jad did this video, I feel like everybody really, because yeah. people saw my sign, but they didn't associate where the door was. But in Jad's video, he showed the yeah. door. I, d- I shouldn't be talking about it because now people are going to go watch that. And uh, Anyways, but uh, they wanted us to help them do a little ad that they're going to run in the movie theater here to highlight the specialty leasing program. There's which a is movie what I'm theater? Part of. Yeah, the movie theater in the basement. You don't know that? No. Yeah, they have a movie theater down here. Like, really? Yeah, yeah. You can watch movies? Yeah. See, more reason for you to come hang out. We can go people watch People actually movies. watch movies down here. Yeah. Holy hell, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's not like the best movie theater. Okay, what is it in called? In fact, it might be one of the worst. <laughs> I think it's the one that Ryan used for his worst review. Really? Movie oh theater. my yeah. God. Um, but they, yeah, they have some some movies. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so they wanted us to do a, s- a little segment showcasing all the variety of different types of shops, including what we've got going on in here, which is obviously different for a mall. Normally they don't have like a yeah, recording studio, studio or, or not a recording, but a film studio. Film. And, in the mall so we uh were like going around the the whole to all the stores i met a bunch of the store owners okay they're all really nice and rich people i I don't think so okay i don't know if they were well uh, some of them were there's one lady who works here she started with a cart and she turned it into a store she's been here for 10 years and she um she's i don't know where she's from she's asian i think she's I think she said something about Japan the other day. Oh. But she's got a uh, bit of an accent, so I didn't know f- exactly where she's from. And uh, okay. we filmed a segment with her. And um, what was my point? Oh, she works every... So the guy outside, he works at, like, Chatter. It's like a mobile phone yeah, store. Yeah, I know Chatter. And he was like... He's like, I've been here for two weeks. That lady is in here every single day at 9 a.m. 
and she stays till after close at 10 p.m. every day. Really? Every day. Wow, she never hustle. goes home. She's grinding. He's like, that girl has more money than all of us combined. What's the store? Uh, 151 Space Space Stop. What is it? Like, what does she sell? Uh, it's like clothing, jewelry. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. That's her, cool. Yeah, that's the hustle. It's pretty small. But yeah, she's that's the hustle. grinding. And uh, yeah, we did a little segment with her, but it was fun. We just kind of hopped around. Yeah. Ian, the other editor slash film guy we have working with us, was mm-hmm. doing it. And I'm excited to see how it turns out. Is it going to be for you? like? No, it's not. It's just for the mall to use. They okay. just they just want us to help them out. And so we did. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Those vibes. It was fun. It was nice. I, I like going out and meeting new people. You know those ones? Yeah. Like, I it's know. fun to just like. I just met a bunch of random people with different stories yesterday. I was like, "Oh, how'd you how'd you get started doing this? How'd you get started yeah. doing this?" Oh, like, that's why the yeah, vibe was. Yeah, well, well, like I would just go in, and, and we wanted them to let us film, so I was trying to be friendly yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that. And there's like, you know, someone who runs the Manitoba Mucklucks store. It's oh, like, wow. how'd you end up here? You know? And yeah. Chatting, asking for some help. Chit chatting. Yeah, it was good. And then you showed them your stuff here. No, I didn't actually. Oh. I don't. I don't even think any of them knew. There was there was one store they sell, uh, like, uh, I think it's Chinese. I hope I'm not saying like the wrong Asian culture here because that would be embarrassing. But I think it was Chinese culture created vases. Oh, okay. Or vases. I vases. Don't know. It's a vase. And um, oh my God, watch out. Oh, yeah. And uh, and basically the lady, some of the people really didn't want to be on camera. But this lady was completely cool with it, and she was just giving me the history <laughs> behind all of these vases because they've been made for thousands of years or at like a thousand years. Like and some like Chinese what they mean, vibes. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, like yeah. why it's why it's yeah. painted this way, and how long it takes for people to learn how to make them, and how long it takes for them to make them, and all this stuff. And her, I I don't know if it was her son, but it, it was either her son or just a young man who works there with her. Yeah. And he spent 11 years Holy in hell. a Shaolin temple. No. Studying as a monk. So he's oh, wavy crazy. with like yeah. Kung Fu and all that shit. That's he's, sick. Bro, his hair is dot to long, like yeah. bare long down his back. I know. He's those. got tats and stuff. And like, bro, he could fuck you up for <laughs> sure. So, but 11 <laughs> years. Not me. 11 years studying as a, as a monk. I don't know if he was studying as a monk, but he was in a Shaolin temple. Yeah. And not here though, in Canada? No, in, in yeah. like somewhere in China. Yeah, or yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know exactly where. Yeah. But I thought that was, I was it's like, cool. that's crazy. Cause you used, have you seen those videos on YouTube where people, the monks? yeah, it's like, uh, it's like a look into the life of a monk. Yeah. I've seen the, I've seen Girl, a the whole documentary about it. It's crazy. The it is. amount of discipline those guys have. Yeah. So yeah, I met, I don't think he's a Shaolin monk, but he knows a lot about it and he trained similarly. I don't know exactly. I called yeah. him a monk and I might've been wrong <laughs> to say that, but, uh, Mr. Monk. Yeah. But so yeah, yeah, it was interesting. That's a vibe you know, Who knew? Literally ten feet away, not ten feet, but like yeah. fifty feet away. There's, there's a, a monk. Shaolin monk chilling, selling vases. That's wavy. Yeah, and the girl yeah. was like a model for oh nice for vases in China as well, yeah. I think. And she's got like pictures of her when she was younger. It's like that's a gig. Yeah, like you model vases. She just would stand beside vases, and she's got a bunch of pictures. I mean, I'm sure she did other shit too. Yeah, but that was one of the things she did. So pretty you cool. Know, interesting people. Yeah. So that was fun. Interesting people. Yeah. Now you have some sayings you want me to to do. Yeah, I do. But uh, are we missing? No. Yeah, we did everything else. Yeah. <sighs> and um. All right, I got some. Sayings. Oh yeah. Also, yeah, guys. As we were saying, we want to read some mean um, you know, DMs we get from you guys. Yeah. So DM us, DM us some means, DM us whatever. You yeah. Know? But preferably mean stuff about Guy or Sean Guy, and we'll. Nah, do, we, you Mostly can do Sean. Yeah, we'll do a segment where we'll try and find like two or three of the f- the funniest ones. We'll yeah, something funny, not hurtful and mean. Like funny, mean stuff. Yeah, it could be hurtful. Could be hurtful. But it should be fun. Like, don't just go. You're well. I mean, it's still funny. Like, if someone goes, you're ugly. It's like um, it's uh, yeah, that's a fact, kinda, you know. Kinda, but yeah. in, like something not really obvious. Yeah, like tr- be creative. Have fun with it. Yeah, okay? and we'll read them on the nep- next podcast. Yes. Why I got you some things too. Okay, I got, I got, wait, what? This is such a weird layout. Okay, I got, I got, so I'm going to tell Guy. Can you please say verified on TikTok, Guy? No. Okay. Absolutely not. Uh, I'm going to tell Guy a saying. So last, in the last episode, I was explaining to Guy 
what the straw that broke the camel's back meant. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. it was kind of interesting. And our, our pseudo director, Sandy, Sandra. suggested we do more of that. So we're going to try that out and let us know what you guys think. All right. All or right. if you want us to go back to the slogans and stuff like this. Okay. Okay. So a dime a dozen. What does that mean? That's not English. A dime a dozen. Four words. It's definitely English. A dime? A dime. Like the. F like the oh, the a dime. A like dime. a quarter. Yeah, yeah. Not a quarter. A dime. Okay. But like a coin. Yeah, yeah, a coin. And then a dozen means 12. A dime a dozen? A dime a dozen. So you have a dozen dimes. Yeah, get off. <laughs> that's, that's it? Yeah. No? No. Do you want to try again? Th like, that's the meaning of it. A dime a dozen. So you have one dozen dimes. No. Oh, uh, no, I don't, I don't, I, I have no idea. Okay, it means very common and of no particular value. What? Experts. So a dime, a dime a dozen is like, I don't know why this is what's popping into my head, but like someone who uh, deals drugs, someone who deals like a low level drug dealer. Okay. There's, there's like a, there's a billion of them. Okay. You're a dime a dozen. You're, there's nothing special. Oh, yeah. You couldn't think of anything else. Then. I don't know why that's what popped <laughs> in my head. That's just what did. I don't okay. even, I don't do drugs or buy drugs. Yeah. So <laughs> that's just what came to my mind. Um, you want to try another one? Sure. <laughs> a dime a dozen. Okay. A piece of cake. You got to get this. That's, one. that's a piece of cake. Yeah. What does that mean? It means it's a piece of cake. Okay. Like, like it's like something. Oh, oh, it's the, it's like, it's easy. It's easy. Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was going to say something like that, but yeah, I got it. I, I remember that. Okay. An That's a piece an, of cake. An arm and a leg. What? <laughs> an arm and a leg. Like, uh, continue. They're, uh, keep going. That's, that's it. An arm and a yeah, leg. Yeah, An arm and a leg. Like they're charging you an arm and a leg. Huh? What? Like, like you're, to, you're to get the new Tesla is going to cost you an arm and a leg. Oh, so you have to chop your arm and leg. Yeah, to get the new Tesla. That's what it means. Oh, so maybe go like you're. I'm joking. That's not what it means. So maybe you're really sick, no. or like at the hospital, or like. No. What is it? Read it again. An arm and a leg. That's it. An, an arm, arm and a leg. Well, like you can use that in different contexts, but like. My G. An typically, arm? it would be something is gonna cost like something's gonna cost you an arm and a leg. So it's beans expensive. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Vabs. We got it. Um, Something's going to cost me an arm and a leg. Uh, man, I need to find a better list. This list sucks. You need oh, okay, this is good. Okay. The world is your oyster. I know that one. Okay. What does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> I, I know, know it and I've heard it are two different things. Th your, the words your oyster means oysters is something rare. And to have an oyster mean you have something rare. So to have the word being your oyster, that means you have something rare you have. So that what you have is the oyster, which is rare. I'm not going to lie. I fell asleep. Halfway Did you get that. it? No, is I, it? I don't think that's it. The world is your oyster. It just means like uh, you can do whatever you want with it. Like the, the world is open to you. Why? Why? What? I Why? don't know. I actually don't know. So the that might, it makes no sense. <laughs> like it makes no sense. Maybe because because oysters open up and there's something nice inside. I don't. Fucking what? Know. I don't know. That's. The, I the, might not even be explaining it right. English either. is fucked up language. <laughs> Says the guy who. Do you want to explain to them what a to be whatever means? <laughs> a to be a to or a. That's to some be. Arabic cussing. A to be a to means my dick inside my dick. <laughs> but the thing is, like, it's just like a saying. It means like fuck myself. Yeah, like fuck myself. Essentially, what it means. Um. Uh. Okay, you have to know this. Let's go. Don't judge a book by its cover. What does that mean? I do know that. What does it mean? I'm going to put an example, okay? Yeah. Let's say you, like right now, you look really nice and handsome and like yeah. good person. But in reality, you're really not. I'm just giving an example. <laughs> okay. So that's what it means. So you're not saying that's actually the case. Not at all. Pretending. Hypothetically. Hi very hypothetical. Okay. Extremely hypothetical. Okay. This one is the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. That means, um, oh, don't fall from the tree. That's the gravity guy. What? The, yeah, Mr. Newton. The gravity, because the apple fell. Yeah. And then it fell on his head, and he discovered gravity. That's, that, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. That's what it means. It's gravity. Yeah, it fell from on his head, though. Do you actually not know? Are you trolling? No, I swear to God. Bro, that's Mr. Newton. Do you know who <laughs> Newton is? 
Isaac is it Isaac Newton? Uh, yeah. I think it's Isaac Newton. I think so, but the, he was sitting. Are you talking about Einstein? No, Isaac Newton. And then he was sitting under a tree, and then an apple fell on his head. And then he's like, oh, "Why the apple?" Oh, that's how he came up with yeah. The and he's like, "Why, the, yeah, yeah, why yeah. the apple fell down?" I see what you're trying to say now, but no, that's not what the meaning is. Like that's not the saying. The apple you're just telling me a story. That means there's a gravity on Earth. No. The apple didn't fall too far from the tree. Yeah. The I apple doesn't known. fall far from the tree. It's commonly used to describe like um, a kid compared to their their parents. So like if you're similar to your dad, oh, makes the sense. apple didn't fall far from the tree. Okay. That's yeah, yeah they look like him. Yeah. Vibes. Um, caught between a rock and a hard place. Cotton between no, a no. hard. Caught. Oh, caught. 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 In between mm-hmm. a rock and a hard place. Bro, like some of these things make absolutely no sense. Like, what the fuck is no, that? This makes sense. This w- this one I actually think makes more sense. Between a rock and a, a hard place. Yeah. Caught between a rock and a hard place. So we're gonna move on these um, sayings. I have you no, have no idea. No one knows what that means. Yeah, uh, uh, trust me, a lot of people know what that one means. What is it? You f- from the rock? Just guess. Yeah, you gotta guess. That's the whole point of this. For you to sound silly. <laughs> Read it again. Caught between a rock and a hard place. Maybe that means no. Actually, no. Maybe that means like let's say you're in a math exam and you're sweating. This is the hard place, and then. The rock is the math exam, but you're su- but like the the room is the hard place, so you're stuck in the room writing exam between a rock. <laughs> Do you understand <laughs> what I mean? I feel like you're getting kind of close, but not really at like, the same time. D- like what is what does it mean, please, Sean? Like uh, this is stressing me. Okay, caught between a rock and a hard place. It's like let's say you have a decision to. Yeah. Um, it's like basically you have two things that are are pulling on you from both ends so let's say like your mom wants you to come do one thing and oh. your girlfriend wants you to do something else and you can't you don't know what to do you're caught between a rock and a hard place got it it's like it's just like you, you're stuck are you calling thing. my mom a rock or a hard place is she a hard place you think she gets me rock hard place <laughs> that's what Brynn <laughs> does to me <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta play games <laughs> you set it up bro i just knock it down um okay uh speak of the devil yeah you know what that is oh <laughs> <laughs> that's it move it up yeah this is the last one speak uh, of the devil speak of, of the devil means like let's say we're talking about someone yeah <sighs> that's what i know and then they're like they do some de- no it's like something oh. about being like so- we're talking you're about close, some someone close. yeah and then um let's say they'd s- oh, fuck I know that one. You know it. I know you do. You've heard this one before for sure. Oh, yeah. We're talking about someone and then as soon as we, we talk about them, they come in. Yeah. Yeah. That's hey, right. yeah. that's cool. It's like if we were talking about Ryan and then he just opened the door. English. Like, speak of the devil. English vibes. On that point. That was good. That was good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So if you guys want to see that continue, let us know. Uh, or if you want us to go back to slogans or whatever, we can do that too. Yep. Um, but Guy, Guy had an idea. Do you want to leave? Or are you just going to... Oh, to read some comments. Yeah. No, let's go. Some DMs. Oh, I mean DMs. So right. apparently D get G- D. Fittingly, D. G gets some interesting DMs. Yes. Don't you get any DMs, Sean? I don't think so. I don't really check my DMs. I swear I don't check my DMs too. But like from time to time, I just go there and check what's going on in the vibes. All right. Let Th- me see. I <laughs> have one very funny one. I, I I need to find this one. I have to find this one. That one happened. It's a while ago, but I need to find it. All right, here we go. It's in this one. Let me check the date. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, look at this girl. What did she send you? <laughs> Holy shit. She didn't send me that, but like this is her. And then she just she just DM'd me and said, she. so I just checked her profile. She has a pic of her ass. And then she just said, saw you on YouTube. <laughs> 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 Vabs. Also, why is the red light behind you turned gray? <laughs> Oh fuck! The thing fell off. Yeah. Uh, you do. If Whatever. you're watching it, it that's 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 a vibe though. It's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. It's actually kind of nice. Yeah. I All like right. It. I got one that was in back in last year, last May, May last year. All right. Mm-hmm. My boyfriend said he'd let you bang me. Oh. So what's up? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was baby. How'd you find that? Did you save it? 
No, it's it's um, I screenshotted it. Oh. Because that that was one of the funniest one I have. Holy hell! Last year in May, what was I doing? Do you think she's she's like serious? Nah, there's no way. There's no way her boyfriend's actually down. There's no way. Is it, what do you call that? It's like a cuck or something? I have no idea. But that's a while ago. Out. That's a year and a half ago. Now I'm, I got uglier, unfortunately. Um, I need to find some interesting one. I used to have like I used to see a bunch of them. But now all I have is reviews from our podcast, you know? Yeah, yeah, facts. I don't I don't really have I'm trying to look like besides people asking me for free shit. Or for following them. Yeah. And someone talking oh, to Oh, I did have one girl who was super uh Super what? There was like this older lady who was like telling me to break up with Olivia or something. No. No, no, no. I think I can't remember. Oh, shit. I, sh- I remember showing it to Olivia. It was actually hilarious. Oh, and like l- recently I asked people to give me songs and I got a bunch, so I can't find anything. Well, great suggestion. Oh, Keith. someone said, gosh, you're cute. Thank you. But like, that's There's like liars out here. <laughs> oh. People are just bold face lying. Oh, I wish I could find that girl. Hey, love your podcast. Oh, my God. With a nude. Holy shit. Oh my god! I'm just kidding. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> it was a screenshot of the podcast. That would have been wavy. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's a nice one. You're so goddamned beautiful. I'm from Argentina, and we have something. Argentina. So much economics. So much economics problem. Oh I'm god. almost poor. Okay, I'm never gonna oh stop reading really that. Oh my god! Please but oh, but that <laughs> goes here. Your vids um, makes me forget about all that shit. Thank you for everything. This little group of YouTubers makes my day. Aww. Sorry for bothering you, but I couldn't control myself. I had to tell you. Thank I couldn't you. Couldn't control myself. Thank wow. you from Argentina. He felt strongly about that. Yeah. That's nice. I got. I've got. Yeah, I got a lot of people just saying, "Hey, are you gonna give away the? Do I know this girl? Holy oh. hell! People, are you gonna give? The, can I? Can I have this? Can I have that? That's like ninety percent <laughs> of my DMs. Can I have the AirPods? Can I have the? speaker from your amazon video i got a one too you are handsome thank you <laughs> can i i want <laughs> i will buy the nail gun for my boyfriend for christmas <laughs> he does roofing and needs one what's your price <laughs> oh my god say it's something saying i should actually sell some of this shit you should here's some wish advice you can go in your <coughs> order history and get a reef oh, okay okay. Right. okay thank you all right but uh, um yeah, what? we done. Someone said Wish is selling your merch? No. No. It's your merch. I, I'm going to do some merch soon, by the way. We need to get Gee verified, LOL. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're going to do merch? What are you going to do? Um, I don't know for now, but I, for sure, something about English being a barrier. Some nice, wavy thing about that. English being a barrier? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you should definitely. That's a great idea. Something haters about being motivators. Haters to motivators. Everyone likes that. Haters to motivators. Yeah. I'm going to sneeze. I uh, same I had a sneeze but it went away. Hey. Oh, here we go. Oh shit, I just headbutted the mic. Oh I'm my sorry God. for everyone listening. Oh shit, yeah, I don't have yeah. I, don't, I have nothing interesting yeah. in my DMs. It's it's honestly really boring. So please DM me something interesting, guys. Yeah, and uh, let's see how the vibes go. <laughs> yeah, and then for we'll, next week. we'll do that next week cuz this week was over. What yeah. were you saying though? Your, f- oh, your merch. Oh yeah, the merch. Yeah. Merch. Oh, and I'm getting my tattoo soon too. Oh yeah, you decided on. Yeah. What was it? Create, create your. It's life. gonna be embrace your creativity. Embrace your creativity. Or embrace creativity, one of them. I think it should be embrace creativity. Yeah, because your is getting your too long. Yours is useless. It's not. It's re- it's a redundant line. A redundant. Yeah. Em- but yeah. You're all, all. It's embrace creativity means everybody embrace creativity. You don't need to say your. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I mean. Yeah, I do. And it's more simple, and then you don't have it fucking curving around exactly. your like a yeah. half moon. <laughs> 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 yeah, vibes. Tattoos and blue. Anyways, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, merch. Yeah. Should I do merch again? Yeah. I still have my merch. Is it still going? Yeah. Are you making good beans? Can you toss me some? To merch? Honest, I don't think so. I haven't checked my merch since I launched it. Like, first two months I launched it, I checked it, and then I haven't checked it again since then. Okay. But I would like to make some new merch, maybe some wish merch, some unboxing wish. I don't know if I can make not wish merch, but like you can't make a wish, wish themed yeah. vibes like the the color of wish. Yeah, like exactly. a blue thing, like a little wish vibe kind yeah. of merch. 
and I probably should have done it before Christmas. It's definitely too. This is what happens to me every time. I'm like, you know what? I should do some merch. And then I realized Christmas is coming up and that's, you should have done it before Christmas. Yeah. After Christmas is far too late. But, far too late. You know, it is what it is. So. And if you're watching us on YouTube, we're about to start doing some thumbnails. Yeah. He's yeah. going to start doing some thumbnails. Yeah. Most probably me because I'm the best at Photoshop. So, you know. And because I handle everything else. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, some thumbnails. We are we're gonna do a guest soon too. Yeah, for sure. We need to get a guest very soon. It's just so hard. It's like we want to get a really crazy cool guest. Yeah, like it's zooked stories and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's like we're thinking of having Ryan on, but he's not cool enough for the first guest. <laughs> Ryan could be like <laughs> guest four, you know. But it's not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> Ryan might be our first guest at this point, but. Uh, yeah, and we also need to... I think we're going to change our setup for the podcast. So mm -hmm. if you watch the video version, you know it's just me and Guy sitting on a couch. Yeah, and sometimes the lights drops behind Sean's, yeah. but that's... Um, well, this, that's the first time. Yeah. So not sometimes, it is, just it is. one time it's happened. Yeah. But we're thinking of getting a table because we're kind of limited. We can't really have more people uh, yeah. on the podcast the way it's set up right now. And so we we can't, if we have a sponsor, way. we can't put them sitting here somewhere with us on the table. We can't? We, or we on, on the table, we'd be able to. Table. Right yeah. now, we can't. Yeah, that's true. So we might have to buy another table, and then that way we can get <coughs> a couple more mics as well. We can bring on guests more regularly. We can have you know have some fun with it, do all that stuff. So And get some sponsors, please. Yes, because it's going to cost even more money. We're going to have to buy another. These mics are not cheap. Not. They're $700. Maybe we need to make a Patreon for our podcast. That would be so vast. So we can cover the expenses for yep. trying to do all this, because we're literally going to have to... If we want to do what, if we want to have two guests yeah. at, a, at a time, we have to spend another like fifteen hundred dollars or more on podcast equipment. So, Vibes. he's obviously not paying for it, and that means I'm paying for it, which means <sighs> our why podcast. Did I, why did I start this podcast again? Uh, what? <laughs> that's the vibe. <laughs> it's a vibe. It's a vibe. I'm just kidding. And with that being said, we're gonna end it on the vibe. You know how this is as. And we're not, as you know, because he will always do this, and then I'll extendo clip us for a little <laughs> bit. This is how I know. This is what he does. We sit up. He looks down at the recorder, <laughs> makes sure it's over 45 minutes, and then if, he's just like, if it is, he goes, all right, well, we hit our quota. Do you want to talk about more things, Sean? I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying it's funny to me. But how, like, how do you have anything else you want to talk work. about? I, maybe I do. I read everything we have on the board, and that's our two what days topic. on the right side? Uh, it's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, it's a challenge. I don't know. A day in the wish, wish sh something. It's a, yeah, it was my, it's my newest video. Yeah. My Why is my name there? Keep my name right. Verified TikTok Gee, not just Gee. Where is it? On the right side? No, yeah, on there, over there. Where? Cook, cook, cook for. Oh, with Gee's your supplies, your. Wish oh. supplies. <laughs> All right. And with that being said. Oh wait. Oh, wait. What? Nothing. <laughs> I just wanted uh. to say it. All right. Yeah. With that being said, guys, we I hope you enjoyed the podcast. We'll be back next Monday, potentially with our first guest. So be sure to subscribe to yeah. the YouTube channel and, and subscribe on the podcast app so that you get notified when the uh, when the podcast Spotify, drops. Apple Music, and Spotify, all that. Spotify, Apple Music, podcast, Google Pod Play. What, I don't even know all of them, yeah. but check them all out. And uh, we love you guys. Thank you so much for we listening. We do love you. Coming straight Sean. from the verified guy on TikTok, oh a.k.a. God. Dr. Hobbs. We Verif will see you tomorrow. Verified Hobbs. Verified Hobbs. Hopefully on Instagram very, very soon. Please pray for me. It's not going to happen. My name's Sean. Bye. Bye. Yeah, I got you. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good.